What's going on everybody, Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys about what makes a video game console attractive to you. Lately in the news, there's been lots and lots of arguments and discussions and debates about resolution. Battlefield Hardline confirmed 720p on the Xbox One, 900p on the PlayStation 4. This has made news and of course everybody on YouTube is talking about it. And I'm here talking about it, but not really in the same light. I personally don't think it's that big of a deal. I think that 700p versus 900p is nebulous. And then if you're playing on a, on a nice TV, very seldom will you notice that difference, as long as the frame rate matches up, if you ask me. I think the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are both very powerful consoles. I think they're both attractive in their own right. I think one has special things to, to offer the consumer, while the other has other special things to offer the consumer. And for the most part, they both play awesome, amazing games. I think that the fanboyism and the fan wars, those flames are going to burn forever. But unfortunately, I think it's pointless. I think that when it comes to consoles and home gaming, exclusives are what really matter the most. Now, I'm 35 years old, and I can remember back when Sega Genesis first came out. And we were so used to Mario. Everybody was playing Mario 1, 2, 3, Mario World. And uh, this is actually before Mario World. Let me take that back. Sonic the Hedgehog Part 1 came out. And I remember when it came out. I had no idea what the Sega Genesis was all about. I thought that the Super Nintendo was the shit. And then when I saw Sonic, this little blue hedgehog, running f 10 times faster than Mario ever ran, I was like, oh my god, this is... It's going to break the TV. I, I didn't know that these kind of this kind of game was possible. And it was an exclusive to Sega Genesis. And guess what? I bought a Sega Genesis. I had to have one. Sonic was just so fast that I couldn't believe it. I thought my fingers were going to break playing that game. It was an exclusive. Super Nintendo, a few years later, Donkey Kong Country came out. Donkey Kong Country blew the lid off of 16-bit gaming. Before Donkey Kong, there really weren't games like that that had that much polish, that much amazing animation, that much awesome, incredible sound. That game had one of the best soundtracks on Super Nintendo, if you ask me. But it was an exclusive. It was not a multi-plat. It was an exclusive. And uh, I think that's what drives gamers. I think, I think that's what should motivate us as gamers. Now, every now and then, you will get a multi-plat that's vastly different across two platforms. Mortal Kombat, back in the day, was this perfect example. On Sega Genesis, the game looked like shit. But it actually had blood. Super Nintendo's Mortal Kombat looked very close to the arcade, but it had toned down violence and no blood. Now, a situation like that, that's a really good debate. That's a really good conversation to have. But nowadays, it's not even like that anymore. Nowadays, we're talking about 900p versus 720p, 1080p versus 900p. Virtually the same game with more pixels. And that is the argument. And I think that we're overlooking what makes a home console important and what should make us passionate about gaming. And I think that is exclusive content on your console. Ori in the Blind Forest, this game right here, is one of the best games I've played all year. It is an amazing side-scroller, Metroidvania-style game that has incredible skill tree level-ups. It has and a very nice, cohesive difficulty and one of the best soundtracks I've heard all year. And I'm only three or four hours into it. The game is only $20, 20 bucks. But guess what? It's an Xbox exclusive. This is an amazing game. And I would, I would have paid $40 for this game to be quite honest. It's an amazing experience. If you have an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, buy this game. Do not debate. Do not wait. If you've ever liked a platformer, a platformer in your life, pick up Ori and the Blind Forest. It's amazing. But guess what? It is an exclusive that makes the Xbox look more attractive than PlayStation at this moment. Because PlayStation will never have this game, or at least not in the, any, any time in the near future. They'll never have Ori and the Blind Forest. It's about exclusives. It's not about... It's not about the silly things that are nebulous like resolution. Now frame rate, I think that is a valid argument, but resolution not so much. PlayStation, Bloodborne will be coming out in a matter of days. Bloodborne, that is an awesome PlayStation exclusive. I'm gonna knock on wood. I hope it's awesome, it looks awesome. I know it has an amazing soundtrack. 
the game looks like everything a person who's a fan of Dark Souls or Demon Souls could ever want. And that's a PlayStation exclusive. I think we should be focusing on the exclusives. Focus on games like Uncharted. Focus on games like Quantum Break. Focus on games like uh, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. F focus on exclusives. Stuff that you cannot get on any other console. I think that is what makes a home console attractive. We are all fans of gaming. I don't think that we should separate ourselves by picking a console and marrying ourselves to that console. Just be a fan of gaming and be passionate about gaming. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and show your support. As always if you're new subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time.